Begin by measuring out your stone. Then measure out your water. Pour your water into the flexible mixing bowl. Use the spatula to incorporate the powder slowly into the water. A smooth and creamy mix should be achieved. Set the vibrator to low to medium speed. Hold the impression tray by the handle and place the edge of the base of the handle on the vibrator. Dip the spatula into the stone mix, picking up small increments. Place the small increments into the impression near the most posterior tooth. Guide the material as it flows lingually. Continue to place small increments in the same area as the first increment and allow the plaster to flow toward the anterior teeth. Turn the tray on its side to provide the continuous flow of material forward into each tooth impression. Once all of the teeth in the impression are covered, begin to add larger increments until the entire impression is filled. Once the impression is filled, turn off the vibrator and set the impression to the side. Use the tile or glass slab. Place the additional material onto the slab or tile. Shape the base to approximately 2 by 2 inches by 1 inch thick. Invert the impression onto the mix. While holding the tray steady, use a spatula to smooth the stone base up onto the margins of the initial pour. Be careful not to cover the impression tray with material or you will have difficulty removing the cast from the impression. You will need to wait 45 to 60 minutes after the base has been poured before separating the impression from the model.